Hi, I'm Randy Williams and I'm back again in this new video series to talk about a little bit more about the wooden dummy. Now in the last series I showed the actual form and the applications for the movements in the form. In this drill I'm going to go a little bit deeper into two-man drills that you can practice with the wooden dummy as your partner. And then I'll show you how those movements translate over to practice with a real partner. Now a lot of times you don't have someone that you can train with so you need somebody to do these techniques on. You can't always practice in the air if you want to keep your arms a little bit tough and you want to feel some resistance. So what you can do is take a lot of the two-man drills that were covered in my previous video series and practice them with the wooden dummy as your partner. I'm also going to show a little bit of how to practice the sticky hands and the sticky foot as well as the laps out and other drills on the wooden dummy. So I hope you like this and uh, a lot of the techniques that I'm going to show are actually my own interpretations of ways to practice with the wooden dummy and aren't necessarily classical Wing Chun wooden dummy techniques. The techniques themselves will be classical, but some of the applications may not. All right, the first wooden dummy drill that I'm going to practice is called Gotten Sing, or five star blocking drill. Now from position, what I'm going to do is use inside Gang So to knock against the low dummy arm. Then I'm going to open my hand and circle it up to Tan, snap towards, low chop to Gang So, circle round, jam, snap, circle, woo. Then the other side, I'll go inside gong, tan, gong, jam, woo. So the drill goes one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, two. One, two, three, four, three. One, two, three, four, and four. All right, what that drill looks like with a partner is from position here, we'll both do the inside gang so and knock the front face of the arm. Then we'll open the hand, circle up, and hit on the thumb side with tan. Snap toward, circle down to gang, come across the forehead, jam, snap toward, circle, woo. Again, it's inside gang, tan, gang, jam, woo. So the drill goes one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, two, one, two, three, four, three, one, two, three, four, and four. All right, the next wooden dummy drill is called Bong Tan Pak Tan. Now what I'm going to do is place the Bong Sao against the arm. Without losing hand contact, I'm going to flip to Tan. Then I'm going to pack across and come back to Tan. So I flip, Tan, Pak, Tan. Bong, tan, pak, tan. Now from the other side, bong. Tan, pak, tan. All right, my next wooden dummy drill is called Gang Gyo. So what, what I'm going to do is lock up here with the dummy's arms, and then I'm going to start by using a Gang Gyo against the leg. Then I'm going to run up to a Tan Gyo, or Tan leg, against the low arm. Now I'm going to go straight down, Jet Gyo, or jerking leg. Then I run around again, Gang, Tan, Jut. And I'm going to switch legs. Gang, Tan, Jut, Gang, Tan, jet. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, one. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, two. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, three. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, four.
All right, with a partner, that drill will be from here. We'll start out and we'll not gang gyuk, run up, tan leg, jut, run around, gang, tan, jut. Then we switch legs and we go gang, tan, jut, run around, gang, tan, jut. So the drill goes one, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, two. Next, I'm working Lap Da Jing Jin, a combination of a sliding grab and a vertical palm strike. So what I'm going to do is slide to a pull, pivot, palm strike. Slide to a pull, pivot, palm strike. All right, this drill gives me the ability to pull and palm strike. Pull while I'm striking pulling him right in to capitalize on his momentum. Now another thing this could be is pulling and hitting with that same hand. Pull hit to pull him off balance. Alright, my next drill is called Kun Su Kun, or Fist Parry's Fist. So from starting position, what I'm going to do is pivot and knock the dummy's arm in, or include it, with a straight punch. Then I'll pivot to the other side, probably a little bit more than I would normally like to pivot because of the dummy's arm's inflexibility. So what I'll do is just pivot and include. Now another version of that same drill, what I can do is pivot, include, pivot to center, exclude, exclude, and then include. So it'll be like in, in, out, in, in, out, in, in, out, inside, inside, outside, inside, inside, outside. In, in, out, in, in, out, in, in, out, inside, inside, outside, inside, inside, outside. All right, to practice this drill with a partner, what'll happen is when Ted punches, I'll knock his punch inward with my own. And again, here. So the drill goes one, two, three, four, and five. Now I could also do this with a double punch. So when he throws the two, I'm one, two, one, two. All right, my next drill is called Loi Fan Kun Su Kun, or inside whip parries the punch. So from position, what I'm going to do is pivot, include, punch his punch. Circle my hand inside, exclude with the inside whip punch. Circle to the outside, include. So I pivot straight, inside whip, outside whip. Pivot straight, inside, outside. Pivot straight, inside, outside. So it's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four. One, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four. All right, in this drill, what I'm going to do is include Jim's first punch with a straight. Then I'll do an inside whip with no footwork and an outside, each one to include or exclude. So I'll pivot straight, inside whip, outside whip. So it'll go one, two, one, one, two, Two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, and five.
All right, my next drill is called Tanda Ganda. Now what I'm going to do is pivot my stance, circle, tan, and punch. Circle, tan, and punch. Circle down, gang, and punch. Circle down, gang, and punch. So it's tanda, tanda, gangda, gangda. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, and four. All right, now with a partner, this drill will go high punch, tanda. Then I circle, tanda. Now the low punch, circle, gang da, and circle, gang. So it goes one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, and four. All right, my next drill, what I'm going to do is pivot, joms out, and then go straight into a chop. Pivot, jam, funs out. Trauma, joms out, funs out. So it goes one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, and four. All right, in this drill, what I'm going to do is pivot, jam against his punch, then chop in over the top. Pivot, jump, chop in. So it's going to go one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, and four. All right, my next drill is going to be a pak sao followed by punch. So what I'll do here is I'll pivot, pak, straight into a punch. Now I don't really punch the dummy because I could hurt my hand. We punch the sandbag to develop the punch power. We don't hit the wood. Pivot, pak, punch. Pak, punch. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, and four. All right, in this drill, what's going to happen is Bob will pivot, punch, and I'll pivot, pock. Now straight off that pock, I'll punch in. His next punch comes, so I pivot, pock, and come in. So it goes one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, and four. Now my next drill is going to develop the skill of the jam and bong sao. So what I'll do is pivot jam, then with no footwork, drive the bong in and across. Pivot jam, bong in and across. Jam, bong, jam, bong. So it's going to go one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, and four. All right, my next drill is designed to develop the bong sao followed by lap and chop, or bong, lap, fun. So from starting position, what I'm going to do is pivot, 
bong, then grab the opposite arm rather than the arm I'm touching because the dummy's arm can't be bent over that far. But I'll grab chop. So I pivot bong, grab chop. Pivot bong, grab chop. So it's going to go one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, and four. Okay, in application for this motion, what I'll do is pivot, bong, to stop his punch, grab, chop. Pivot, bong, grab, chop. So the drill goes one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, and four. Alright, now my next drill is going to be the Hyun Da Chang Dai Jang progression. So what I'm going to do at first is I'm just going to start by pivoting with the Jom So. Then I'm going to pivot, hook it out, and you notice how I have three fingers closed and two pinched. Then I'm going to turn in and hit. Now I'll do the other side. Pivot Jom, turn and Hyun So, turn back in with the Chang Dai Jang. Now it is alright to hit with the palm to the dummy, but you never use a punch against it. So I pivot, jump, hoon, hit, jump, hoon, hit. So the drill goes one, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, two. One, two, three, four, five, three. One, two, three, four, five, and four. Now what I can do next is, I can turn around and add an extra hit to this. So I can be going jam, and as I'm spreading open with the hoon, I can use my other hand to hit. Then go in with the hit. Pivot jam, hoon and hit, and then finish the hit. Pivot jam, hoon and hit, then finish the hit. Jam, hoon hit, finish the hit. I'm not doing anything different with the one hand, it's just that I'm adding a strike with my free hand. So the drill goes one, Two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, and four. All right, now to apply these movements, what's going to happen is when Randy throws the punch, I can jam that, hook it out, and then turn into hit. Or even if it was that punch, jam, hook it out, turn in to hit. Now again, against that punch, I could jam, hook it while hitting, hit again. Or if it was that one, jam, hook it while hitting, hit again. All right, you notice that when I do the heen saw, what I do is actually close three fingers and pinch two here. 
And what that's designed to do is to allow me to hook on to my partner's hand and pull him in a little bit. That'll snag him. What it does is pulls him a little bit. It's not the greatest trap in the world, but it's enough to just pull him in a little bit. Again, with this one, I hook him and I kind of grab just a slight bit and then hit. Now, in the case that I had done like pock punch and he stopped that, I can use that same hand here to grab a little bit onto the elbow to pull him in. So those three fingers are just a little bit of a hook. All right, the next drill I'm going to do is called Loi Kuan Sao Snaking. Now, what I'm going to do is place the Loi Kuan Sao, which is a combination of Hyun and Jam, against the dummy. And then I'm going to snake around trying to lose hand contact as little as possible. So what's going to happen is my Jam hand is going to convert to Hyun, while the Hyun hand com comes up and becomes Jam. So the high hand goes down and the low hand comes up. What I'll do is snake around. Now I can also do this with the outside quan, moi quan sao, which is a combination of tan and bong. This time the high hand goes over, the low hand comes under. High hand over, low under. So I go. Now what I can then do is combine the two together and do three of each. So what I'll do is go loi quan, two, three, run around, loi quan, two, three, run around, one, two, three, run around, one, two, three, run around. All right, loi quan sao, or inside rolling hands in application looks like this. When Keith pivots and punches, I might jam so, hook him open, and meet that next one. Hook him open, meet the next one. So it's just a continuous stream here, snaking around. All right, rolling with Ngoi Kwan Sao, outward rolling hands block, happens when Ted touches my hand and pulls down punches. I can pivot and roll with that and flip my hand down, flipping the ton around to stop the punches keeps me from getting trapped in a tight situation. Okay. All right, in this next drill, what I'm going to do is go from Jam Sao to Hyun Da Chang Dai Jian. So what'll happen here is I'll go pivot, Jam. Then I'm going to step and face around, hit the dummy. So no footwork, step and face, Hyun Da Chang Dai Jian. Pivot, and then step and face. So what I'm doing is I'm going no footwork, step and face. Pivot, step and face. No footwork, step and face. Pivot, step and face. No footwork, step and face. Pivot, step and face. No footwork, step and face. Pivot, step and face. No footwork, step and face. Pivot, step and face. No footwork, step and face. Pivot, step and face. All right, in application, when John gives the jab, I use John to stop that, hook it out, hit the body. Now, if that cross came, it would be the same thing. Hook it out, hit the body. Follow with another hit. All right, now I can do that same thing using bong and tanda. So what I do here is pivot bong, step and face tanda. So it'll be no footwork, step and face, pivot, Step and face. No footwork. Step and face. Pivot. Step and face. No footwork. Step and face. Pivot. Step and face. All right, bong, tanda, and application against the jab cross is just simply bong here, tanda there. So it's like one, two, again, one, two, again, one, and two. All right, next I'm going into straight punch drill combinations. 
Now what I'm going to do here is do the pack tanda pack combination. So what I'll do is face the dummy, pivot, pack. Step, circle, slide, tanda. Back out, pack. Step and face, pack. Step, circle, slide, tanda. Back out, pack. Step and face, pack. Step, circle, slide, tanda. Back out, pack. Loi sin wai, packs out. Sip ma, tanda. Toi ma, packs out. So the drill goes. All right, on the other side, that combination is going to look like this. Pivot, pack. Step, circle, slide, tanda. Back out, pack. Step and face, pack. Step, circle, slide. And then back out, pack. So it's going to look like this. One, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, and four. One, two, one, one. Two, two, one, two, three, one, two, and four. Now I can do that same drill with kicks. So what I'm going to do here is pivot, pack, step off, turn down with a kick, come down, pack, step and face, pack, step to the side, turn down with a kick, come down, pack. So the drill goes one, two, one, one, two, two. One, two, three, one, two, four. All right, with the kicks, that combination is going to look like this. Pivot, pack, step to the side, hand out with a kick, come down, pack. Step and face, pack, off to the side, hand out, kick, back down, pack. So it looks like this. One, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three. One, two, and four. Now I can change that pattern to the jam, jut fun jam. So what I'll do here is pivot, jam. Step, circle, slide, outside jet chop, back out with the jam. Step and face jam, step, circle, slide, jut fun, back out with the jam. So that's going to go one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, Three, one, two, four. All right, to see that combination from the other side, it's going to look like this. Pivot, jump. Step, circle, slide, jut, fun. Back out, jump. Step and face, jump. Step, circle, slide, jut, fun. Back out, jump. So it goes one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, and four. Now I'll add the kick. So what I'm going to do here is go one, step out, jet fun kick, down with the jump. Pivot, step and kick, down with the jump. One, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, and four. All right, to see how that's going to look on the other side with the kick, what I'm going to do here is pivot, jump, step off to the side, jet fun with the kick, Come down with the jump. Step and face jump. Step to the side. Got fun with the kick. And come back down with the jump. So it goes one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, and four.
Now I'll change the combination to bong, grab and punch, bong. Step and face, bong. Step, circle, slide, grab, punch. Back out, bong. One, two, one. One, two, two. One, two, three. One, two, and four. All right, to see how that combination is going to look on the other side, what I'm going to do is pivot, bong. Step, circle, slide, grab, punch. Back out, bong. Step and face, bong. Step, circle, slide, grab, punch. Back out, bong. So the drill goes one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, and four. I'll add the kick, bong, step out, grab, punch, kick, come down, bong. Step and face, bong, grab, punch, kick, come down, bong. One, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, and four. All right, with the kick on the other side, this combination is going to look like this. From position, I'm going to pivot, bong, step off to the side, grab, punch, kick, come down with the bong. Step and face, bong, step to the side, grab, punch, kick, come down with the bong. So it goes one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, and four. And last, I'll go fuk, wu da chang jian, fuk. Step and face, fuk, wu da chang, fuk. One, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, and four. All right, to see how that combination is going to look on the other side, what I'm going to do is pivot, fuk, step, circle, slide, wu da chang jian. Back out, fuck. Step and face, fuck. Step, circle, slide. Back in with the fuck. So it goes one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, and four. Adding the kick, hook, step, circle, slide, hit, kick, come down, hit, hit, kick, and block. One, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, and four. All right, to see this combination with a kick, what's going to happen is from starting position, I'm going to pivot, hook, step to the side, wu da with the kick, come back down with the hook. Step and face, hook, step to the side, wu da chang jang with the kick, down with the hook. Okay, so the drill goes one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, and four. All right, the straight punch drills, 
Uh, there's a few different combinations. The ones I showed on the dummy, first of all, was pak, tanda, pak. So when the first punch came, I packed that, tanda, and then pak. Pak, tanda, pak. So it's like one, two, one. One, two, two. One, two, three. One, two, and four. The second combination, I went jam, jut fun, jam. Jam, jut fun, jam. So it goes one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, and five. The next combination was bong, grab punch, bong, bong, grab punch, bong. So it goes one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, and four. And lastly, fuk, wu da chang jen, fuk, fuk, wu da fuk. One, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, and five. All right, in application or in a drill form, these same combinations with a kick could go like this. The first one I would go pak, tan da with a kick, pak, pak, tan kick, pak. So it goes one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, and five. One, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, and five. The second combination would be jam, jut fun with a kick, jam, jam, jut fun kick, jam. One, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, and five. One, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, and five. Now, bong, grab, punch, kick, bong, bong, grab, punch, kick, bong. One, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, and five. One, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, and five. Now, bong. Grab, punch, kick, bong. Bong, grab, punch, kick, bong. One, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, and five. One, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, and five. Next, fuck, woo with a kick, fuck. Fook, woo kick, fook. One, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five. One, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five. All right, the next drill is going to help you develop your loy seen wire inside facing footwork as well as tall ma step slide footwork. So what's going to happen is the beginning of the drill, you'll do 
a pivot with gang jumps out to the high and low arm. Then you'll step slide outside quan. Now what you do is step and face, gang jam, step slide quan. Step and face, step slide. Step and face, step slide. All right, in this next drill, we're going to do something that helps you develop your mo ying kick or invisible kick, your ability to kick twice without putting the foot down. So what you'll do is grab onto the dummy arm for balance and bring up the knee, tai sut or raising knee strike. Then without putting the foot down, straight into jing gyo or front kick. What you'll do then is jump, knee, kick, jump, knee, kick, making sure that your foot's on the ground before your knee makes contact. Now I can add to that drill by just putting a side kick into it. So what will happen here is I'll jump knee, front kick, side kick. Jump knee, front kick, side kick. Jump knee, front, side. Now I can even add another front kick at the end of that. Jump knee, front kick, side kick, front kick. Jump knee, front, side, front. All right, another way to develop the shadowless kicking is going straight into the front kick. So from position, you'll go front, knee, front. Switch sides, front, knee, front. All right, to apply this motion, what's gonna happen is he gives me the jab, I'll just stop it here, step in with the hit, skip knee, and then kick without putting my foot down. So once again, that's block, hit, skip, kick. Now, if I had wanted to use both of the kicks, I could go here, block, hit, and then go in with the knee, kick, and then side kick. Now another example of using the jump switch front kick, uh, when Ted gives me the jab, I might go with the ton and the front kick. Then without putting my foot down, I'll just jump to another front kick here. Now if we were open, and say for example he gave me the punch, and I went bong front kick, here I might jump switch, front kick there. Jump switch again here, and again, kick the leg out from under him. All right, the next shadowless kicking drill that we're gonna do is a high-low double kick. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna step off, grab the dummy's arm, and then I'm gonna do one kick high and one kick low. So in this case, what I did was step off, grab, front kick, front kick. Step off, grab, front kick, front kick. Now I can just change that combination slightly and I'll go step off, grab, then I'll go side kick, side kick. Step off, grab, side kick, side kick. So it'll go. Now I can mix side kick and front kick. So this time I'll step off, grab, front kick, side kick. Step off, grab, front, side. Now I'll step off and do step off, Side kick high, front kick low. Step off, grab, side kick high, front.
front kick low. All right, the next one's exactly the same, but totally different. What I'm gonna do is step off, low kick, high kick. Step off, grab, low front kick, high front kick. Step off, grab, low high. Step off, grab, low high. Now the next variation I'll do with a side kick. So I'll step off, grab, low kick, high kick. Step off, grab, low side, high side. Step off, grab, low, high. Step off, grab, low, high. Now I'll mix together front and side. So what I'll do is I'll step off, grab, low front, high side. Step off, grab, low front, high side. Step off, grab, low front, high side. Step off, low front, high side. Step off, grab, low front, high side. Now I'll do the side kick first. So I'll step off, grab, low side, high front. Step off, grab, low side, high front. Step off, grab, low side, high front. Step off, side, front. Step off, side, front. All right, the step off grab shadowless kick drill gives me the ability to once I've stopped the jab here to kick once and then kick again. So sometimes I might go, for example, here, I might go side high, side low. I might go here, side high, front low. I might go here, front high, side low. Or I might go here, front high, front low. I can also mix other kicks. For example, here, side high, jut low. Or I might go here, front high, round low. So it just gives you the ability to kick twice without putting the foot down. All right, in another shadowless kicking drill, what I'm going to do is practice the ngao gyuk or hooking foot technique. So what I'll do is holding on for balance, I'll round kick to the inside of the leg and hook, and then go straight into a side kick. Then I'll run around and hook, and then front kick. Run around, side, run around, front. Around, side, around, front. Now, in another variation of the same drill, what I can do is kick, kick, hook, kick, and straight into a shadowless knee. Hook, kick, hook, kick, knee. All right, and finally, to switch legs so that you can practice symmetrically, what you can do is go hook, kick, hook, kick, knee, jump switch, front kick, hook, kick, hook, kick, knee, jump switch, front kick, hook, kick, hook, kick, knee, jump switch, front kick, hook, kick, hook, kick, knee. All right, the leg hook followed by a side kick is simple. After I've kicked, for example, kicked the inside of the thigh, I can hook the knee to pull him forward and a little bit off balance, then side kick the rear leg. So again, that's kick, hook, pull. 
and again. Kick, pull in, kick him again. All right, now the reverse hook and front kick could be used here. For example, if I had done a reverse round kick to the groin, I could then hook the leg open, kick the rear leg. Again, it'd be reverse round, hook, and then kick. Even if I had kicked the leg first, I would just stick to that knee, pull it in, kick. All right, in the next drill, I'm going to develop my backward song jang, cutting elbow. So what I'll do from here is bong sao with a small pivot, then I'll grab, cut back elbow, chop, re-trap, and hit with the palm strike. Bong, grab, elbow, chop, re-trap. Now don't hit too hard with the elbow because it's easy to hurt yourself. All right, this time when Bob gives me the jab, I stop that with bong. Then I come in, back elbow. I almost hit that Bob Hope nose. Then follow with the chop, re-trap and hit. So he comes in again, I go bong, grab, elbow, chop, re-trap. Back, bong, elbow, chop, re-trap. He does kind of have that Bob Hope vibe going there a little bit, don't you think? All right, that's all for now. So until next time, this is Randy Williams saying goodbye and see you later, you big dummy. If you'd like to learn more in depth about the drills and techniques shown in both this tape series as well as my previous series, my six volume book set, Wing Chun Gong Fu The Explosive Art of Close.